let me check out the old Twitter feed, Anna. Who would you rather have sex with, Ronda Rousey or Misha Tate? This seems like a tweet I should answer and not get into any trouble with. I'd like to apologize to Misha Tate and Ronda Rousey. Didn't mean those things I said and it was supposed to be jokes. I don't even know Somali pirates, nor do I own a moose. It was inappropriate and I promise it won't happen again. What's happening on Twitter today, I wonder, Anna? Connor, have you seen Michael J. Fox's new show? Hmm... I wonder if I should answer this tweet or not. On behalf of everyone at the UFC, I'd like to apologize to Mr. Fox, to anyone who might have read my tweet and been offended. I cannot confirm that time travel is the cause of Parkinson's. And if that were the case, the doc would have it too. It was a silly thing I said. I promise it won't happen again. I haven't been on Twitter in a while. What have we got here, Anna? What's the weather like in Ireland? On behalf of the entire nation of Ireland and the European Union, I'd like to apologize to anybody who wears purple pajamas. What's up, Fight fans? Welcome to Triple CHS, powered by G Fuel from Gamma Labs. I'm the Caddyshack 2 of MMA, Tommy Toehold. Today, the Green Ranger calls out Anderson Silva, and that is not a joke. Nick Diaz considers a return, and GSP considers a goodbye question mark. Let's do this shit! <laughs> It's Morphin' Time! If you grew up in the 90s, chances are you watched the shit out of some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. A show about teenagers who fought Japanese movie monsters and overcompensated for a lack of face time with ridiculous gesturing. There's also a good chance your favorite ranger was the Green Ranger, because he wasn't blatantly racist and I'm pretty sure the Red Ranger was on TRT. Green Ranger's real name is Jason David Frank because why have one first name when you can have three? And JDF wants a piece of the spider. At a panel at New York Comic Con, the Karate Black Belt says he wants to spar the former middleweight champ as a fundraiser. Mirroring Sam from Clarissa Explains It All's effort to raise money by rolling with with John Jones. It's morphin' time, motherfuckers! It's normal. Anderson, what are you doing there with the Green Ranger? I don't fight Chris Wiener anymore. I fight the Green Ranger. It's normal. No, it's not normal, Anderson. That's the biggest fight in the history of the sport. You can't skip it to fight the Green Ranger. No, it's normal. I fight the Green Ranger for the bells, then I fight the Barney the dinosaur, then I fight Megatron. It's normal. Okay, that last one I actually would like to see. Green Ranger, anything you'd like to say? We may not have our power, but we're still Power Rangers. Go, Green Ranger, go. Make it happen, Dana. It's been eight months since Nick Diaz re-retired after his last two-week retirement, and while this one seems more permanent, El Nino recently said in an interview that Stockton's first son would come out of retirement for the right challenge. Fresh off from having his eye removed, Michael Bisping jumped at the opportunity and said he'd welcome Nick back with a big-ass fist to the face. And with a bout between the Count and Captain anti-bullshit, I'd have enough material to make this show last at least another two years. Nick, how's retirement? It's fucking good or whatever. Fucking beating ducks at the park and watching daytime television. Fucking Judge Judy or whatever. What are the chances you'll come back to fighting? I don't know, homie. Fucking I don't think about shit. Maybe if a fucking challenge came along or whatever. What about Bisbean? It's not fucking challenge, homie. I want something big like fucking Godzilla or some shit. Or M. Bison from fucking Street Fighter. Those aren't real things. You're not real things, motherfucker. Selling wolf tickets to everybody, acting like you're a person. Fucking cartoon, dude. And you're all just eating them up. That is the truest thing you've ever said on this show, Nick. Yeah, fuck you, George. Why don't we return my phone calls, homie? I just want to talk. I'm not the one on steroids or whatever. GSP's not on steroids. You don't know shit, bitch. But you're not a bitch and you do no shit or whatever. Please come out of retirement, Nick. These segments are so easy to write. Say it ain't so, because it ain't. GSP's head trainer recently told TVA Sports that GSP will retire after the Hendricks fight if he doesn't have the motivation for another camp, prompting the city of Montreal to declare a state of emergency. But, April Fools, apparently GSP says this all the time and doesn't mean it. And this camp went so well that George is going to lay on top of Johnny Hendricks' extra... Hard. The darkness, not me. Hey, George, are you at a haunted house or something? No, my fight is approaching, so I'm getting into the dark place inside of my head sometimes. That is the quote that just keeps on giving. George, set the record straight. Are you going to retire or not? Of course, but first I want to fight Anderson Silva. Yeah, that's not going to happen anymore, I think. You kind of waited too long. What about the Klitschkos? What the fuck is with all you fighters wanting to box the Klitschkos? They have funny names. George, I interviewed Nick earlier, and he said you haven't been returning his phone calls. That uneducated fool. Tell him I do not want to meet him in a dark parking lot. Alone. I know it's a trap. I'll let him know, George, but I'm almost certain his response will be you're a bitch. Predictions for your fight? Hendrix knocks me out in the first. I think so too. Viewer comment time! Each week I make the show, and tens of you flock to social media to tell me what you thought about it. Like Neo Mafia who tweeted, Watching your show makes me want to go back to prison. This man would rather give up all of his personal freedoms than watch my show. That's making an impact. That's show fight fans! Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for links to my Friendster page. Big ass thanks to all my awesome friends on these two walls of logos. Big ass thanks to Bruce Buffer and It's Time Industries. And another big ass thanks to Gamma Labs, the official sponsor of Triple THS. Go buy all their products. After that, head to TripleTHS.com, buy a Beanie Badger t-shirt, take a badass picture in it, and I will put you on the show. What constitutes a badass picture? Chilling with Bubba McD, or just being this guy who is awesome. Tune in next Wednesday, me and Ronda Rousey are going to do a speed run on Super Metroid. Right by Triple THS, I'm Tommy Toehold. Get those boobs looked at, ladies.